Welcome to this video on numerical integration, where we'll just look at an overview of why we are interested in integration and specifically numerical integration. Well, integration is a key concept in science and engineering. So here are some examples of this. For example, we want to calculate the length of a curve, right, the arc length, that is given by the integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function with respect to x squared. Okay. Another example is the heat flow, q dot, through a cross-section of width w, as shown here in the graph. That would be the integral from a to b of the heat flux times the width integrated in the y direction. And one final example, the thrust t of a rocket, where the density and the velocity varies across the nozzle. The thrust would be the integral in the radial direction from the center to the radius, the edge of the nozzle, of 2 pi times the density times the velocity at the exit squared times r dr. So all of these involve integrals that we need to evaluate. So let's look at the general case, right? The integral of some function f of x from a to b. Well, that is geometrically defined as the area underneath the curve f of x going from a to b. Now, why would we want to evaluate this numerically? Well, for one, we might not know the analytical form of this integral for a given f of x. Or, the data might be given to us only at discrete data points, meaning we don't really know the analytical form of f of x. The only thing that we will know are discrete data values of f at given locations of x. So here's the strategy that we are going to follow to do these integrations numerically. First, we're going to approximate the function f of x by a function that we can easily integrate. And we're going to call this technique overall, overarching technique, newton coates integration. So what are the functions that we can easily integrate? Well, the functions that, that are easy to integrate are polynomials, because they follow simple integration rules. So if we are going to approximate our function f of x by a zeroth order polynomial, then we will call the resulting integration method rectangle or midpoint method. If we're going to use first order polynomials, so crank up the order by one, we're going to call the resulting methods trapezoidal method. If we use second order polynomials, then the method that we'll derive is called the Simpsons one-third method. And then finally, if we're going to use third order polynomials, the method that we'll derive is called Simpson's 3/8 method. Thank you for watching.